What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Kingdom Core Class Rat Trap. Now, as always, I'll be taking a look at the packaging first thing. And I've got to admit, while, yes, my packaging is somewhat beat up, um, it came like that um, on store shelves. I managed to grab the last one. So um, my box isn't in perfect condition. Um, as you can see, this was there when I got it at the store. And then I was trying to get the figure out. But, uh, you know, I couldn't preserve. I, I preserved the packaging to the best of my ability. But taking a look at some of the amazing box art we got going on here. We've got the arc crash landing in the background. We got Rat Trap in his rat mode. Beautiful artwork going on here. We got Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy here on the front. On the side here, we got Core Class. Here on this side, we just got Transformers, Transformers. Here on the back, we can see Rat Trap within his robot mode, his uh, rat mode, and then he converts in 18 steps. So overall, packaging looks really awesome on this figure, and I'm excited I was able to grab the last Rat Trap they had there on the shelf. I'm excited to see that Kingdom is finally hitting store shelves after a long awaited time so without further ado let's set the packaging off to the side and take a look at what he comes with now very quickly going through his accessories he doesn't come with a whole lot he does come with his instructions which have been done in a new manner as we can see it's been done with gray and green and i really do like these colors they're bright they're vibrant and they allow you to read the instructions quite clearly i really wish they would do something like this color scheme for the studio series and mainly just any line of transformers that they really Really do so very nice instruction manual and then he does come with his warning sheet um we're getting that with every transformers figure and then he does come with a teeny tiny little pistol here which has been molded in gray plastic not a whole lot to it just a little pistol no paint on it whatsoever but pretty cool little accessory for him to come with and bringing Rat Trap back into view, here we have his rat slash mouse mode, however you want to really look at it. Um, but this looks fantastic. I've got to admit, Hasbro did a fantastic job of getting his mouse mode to look very realistic in how they did it. I, I, I'm... I'm really blown away with how this figure is done, especially at the size scale it's done. This is roughly a $10 figure, and this is fantastic. Now, with that being said, he is pretty small for the price point, but I think he is absolutely fantastic. Taking a look at some of the details here, as we can see, the face has been done really nicely with the black painted eye and the white pupil for the eye. We've even got some pink for the nose and some white for the rest of the face. Got some pink on the inside of the ear, and we've even got pink paint here on the feet and we can see that fades as the fur covers the rest of the feet very nice detailing overall got some nice detail in the tail and the first sculpting and texturing on this is absolutely fantastic so i mean overall it's pretty much just a rat or that's basically what this mode is i mean it pins that down pretty much perfectly. Now bringing in size comparisons, I have mentioned that this is a very small figure. Again, he is a $10 figure and he is very, very small. Um, just bringing in one of our smallest figures um, from the Earthrise line. This is a Earthrise Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper. And you can see they are roughly, Rat Trap's a little bit longer um, from the tail end forward, but um, yeah, as you can see, Cliff Jumper here is a very small deluxe class figure, but I'm glad to see that even though when we will get into robot mode comparisons, you'll see Rat Trap is shorter than Cliff Jumper. I'm glad to see that they're reducing the price a little bit because had they given us this figure at a deluxe class scale, there is no way I would have paid 20 bucks for it. I think it's a cool figure, but I would not have paid 20 bucks for it. I just, no, it's way too expensive for a figure of this size scale, but luckily they reduced the price, but he is a little bit shorter, so he is still a small figure for a $10 price range, but I definitely do feel like he is a great figure. Bringing in Wheeljack, a more proper deluxe class size figure, we can see here that um, Rat Trap here is a little bit shorter, but Definitely a great looking rat. I think they did a great job capturing the overall aesthetic of a rat and putting it in a transformable toy format for this character. I really do feel like this is a great representation of Rat Trap. 
Now for the transformation of Rat Trap, we're going to start by taking the back legs, moving them down, and that will come untab. That will untab from these little tabs here, and then we'll take the arms or the fists on the underside, and we'll just separate them from this whole back assembly here, and then that will leave all this up here like so and then we can take the front arms here and pull them up and that will bring up these arms the robot arms like so so just take them untab them and then for the legs what we're going to do and this is actually pretty cool take this joint here rotate it around and then rotate the shin forward and then rotate around the foot so repeat that on this side rotate this ball joint around rotate this around like so and then rotate around the foot and then straighten out the thighs and everything, just like so. And go ahead, take this whole assembly here and pull it back. That'll allow you to rotate the mouse head down and that'll bring up the robot head. And then you can swivel the robot head around like so. Go ahead, take the arms, pull them up, and then they will hinge up into place and then you can rotate them down. They're all, they are on ball joints. They will tab in. There's this little peg right here that'll tab in into that peg hole right there. So rotate the arms up like so. Take this whole backpack section right here and then fold the tail up. That'll release a hook or reveal a hook that will tab into the back. And then literally just take all this and it is on a double hinge and shift it up and into place. Then from there, you simply get the robot mode organized and get them straightened out. And here we have Kingdom Rat Trap in his robot mode. And Rat Trap in his robot mode, I've got to admit, for the size scale that they are working with here, this is a absolutely fantastic figure. Even for me, someone who wasn't really a huge fan of Rat Trap from the Beast Wars show, I absolutely love this figure. This is a great representation of how he looked from the Beast Wars cartoon, giving you a quick 360 spin around of the figure. As we can see, he tidies up pretty well. The only real kibble is this section right here, but this um, sort of wing section here off to the side is accurate. He did have these uh, wings hanging off in the original show. So, I mean, overall, Rat Trap in his robot mode looks absolutely fantastic. Taking a look at all the details of Rat Trap in robot mode, starting off here at the feet, we can see the feet have been done really nicely with some nice molded in detail and some pink paint, which has been done really nicely. Overall, very nice detail there. Shins have some nice molded in detail. There's no paint there. Thighs have been done really nicely as well. The arms have some nice paint applications to them, and if we look close enough here, there is actually a little maximal symbol painted onto the arm, and I absolutely love that detail, and then you got some silver paint there as well. Head sculpt for the rat mode on the chest looks really good. The head sculpt for Rat Trap himself looks absolutely fantastic. This is spot on to what we see in Beast Wars itself. The paint applications, while not done perfectly on mine, are very nice. You got some nice silver paint for the teeth, and then you got some nice silver for the uh, red of his, or some nice red on his eyes and in his mouth. And then you got some silver for the brain and mechanical detail on his head um, that's been done in a very nice silver. So, I mean, overall, the detail of the robot mode for Rat Trap is just absolutely superb. Now, I would like to mention Rat Trap does have storage for his little blaster. There is a peg right here on the side, right here, and then there is a peg hole, and this will tab in... Um, like so and then it is stored on his back so you do have weapon storage within the robot mode now bringing up to what was one of the smallest figures to be released from the war for cybertron trilogy here we have earthrise cliff jumper and as we can see cliff jumper here is still a good almost full head taller than rat trap and this was a 20 dollars figure and this is a 10 dollars figure so as we can see this is this is a small small figure but uh, luckily core class is not replacing deluxe class so that is good to see and to bring in a proper deluxe class size figure we can see that uh, earthrise wheeljack here absolutely towers over rat trap but those are your size comparisons now going over the articulation of Rat Trap, it is pretty solid, starting off here at the head. The head is on a 
uh, full 360 swivel and then the arms are on ball joints although they are kind of hard and weird to position due to the fact that they're on hinges not attached to the actual body um so they move out they do move forward and down um the elbows are on ball joints so you can get plenty of uh, motion there the hips are on ball joints and they can kick forward pretty far and backwards to a good degree and then they can move outwards the knees can bend like so and then there is an the extra transformation joint so you can get some double jointed knee action and then the feet are actually on ball joints which allow for a little bit of movement all around some wiggle room for posability but i mean overall for the figure's size and everything it is a pretty substantial um it is pretty substantial in terms of articulation so overall what are my official thoughts and opinions about kingdom rat trap this is a great figure. Granted, he is a little bit small, but given the fact that this is my first Transformers Kingdom figure, I am thoroughly excited for this upcoming line. I'm really excited for their Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal, uh, the new T-Rex Megatron that's coming out in probably my most anticipated figure of this whole Kingdom lineup, Dinobot. He is... Uh, been announced in a Voyager scale, and I am really excited to be getting that figure whenever they have officially released it. But as far as Rat Trap here goes, he's a fantastic figure. Do I recommend him? Yeah, he's a little bit expensive for his scale, but I mean, other than that, he's a great figure. I don't really have any issues with him. Transformation's pretty unique, and I've got to admit, the idea of them giving their animal modes or beast modes a lot more realistic, um, a lot more realistic designs and having a lot more realistic appearances is definitely a really cool idea and I think it's I think it's going to go over really well once these figures start hitting store shelves but that's all from me I hope you enjoyed if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of Rat Trap down in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel that's all from me Champion Productions signing off